Okay, this is yet another in a series of videos I'm making for my site, pfsensesetup.com. And, and these are instructional videos in which I explain how to do some uh, basic things with the pfsense firewall. And in this video, I'm going to cover some of the advanced options for firewall, for firewall rules that I hadn't covered in the previous video. So let me just log into my pfsense box here and uh, let's go to firewall and I'm going to click on rules and we'll just go and I will just uh, click on plus here to create a new rule and I'm just going to scroll down here we've already covered um, the options for you know the basic firewall rule options so I'm going to scroll down to advanced features um source os we've already covered in the last video this is just it allows you to restrict the rule to only certain types of uh, operating systems so we can make it so that rule only applies for example to uh free bsd systems or linux systems or mac os or windows um and uh, I'm going to skip over diff serve code point here and go to advanced options. I'm going to click on this. And here's some interesting options. Um, we have a uh, maximum state entries this rule can create. So we can limit the number of, of state entries. So if we, we have it at 100 and the next uh, one... The next connection would create um, the 101st state entry would be dropped. Um, maximum number of unique source hosts, so so we can limit the number of source hosts that can, that can connect via this rule. Um, and here's some interesting rules because these are rules that that could potentially be used to uh, some options that could be potentially used to to um, stop uh you know some forms of malicious attack for example uh you know denial of service attack or or spam there's other ways of doing it but this is one potential way of doing it we have a uh, maximum number of established connections per host so we can limit limit uh a host to say 10 connections um and this is only this can only be used with tcp Maximum state entries per host, so we can limit the number of state entries um, per host. Um, and uh, we have maximum new connections per host per second, which you know could could be useful in, in protecting against either denial of service attack or a spam attack, because you know you would have to assume that. Especially with the, uh, you know, if it was uh, somebody's trying to spam you, that they would, they would keep hammering your your uh, your mail server uh, fairly quickly. So that that could be useful. And then timeout in seconds, we can change the default timeout so that uh, any connection that's idle beyond the the number of seconds specified in this field would be dropped. So. Uh, that's another potentially useful option. So I'm going to scroll down here to TCP flags. And um, I'm not really sure why somebody would want to use these options here, but you can make it so that certain TCP flags need to be set for the rule to match. Um, and then just a few other ones here that, that we might want to look at. Um, here's one. Um, this uh, we could click on uh, on this checkbox to set to prevent this rule to from syncing with other CART members, common address redundancy protocol members, and that that would only be significant if we have um, a, a CART set up and. Uh, schedule we we covered in a previous video um 
you know, and, and here again, you can see we had, we defined a lunch hour and work time in, in one of the previous videos here. So we can schedule the rule to only take effect during certain times. Um, okay, I think that's, you know, this, that covers what I wanted to cover in this video. And um, I think, uh, you know, this, this is the last video that I'm going to make on rules for a while. And anyway, I might make, make another one at some point. But uh, this covers as much as I wanted to cover about uh, PFSense firewall rules. So if you found this video helpful, you might consider checking out my website, uh, pfsenseSetup.com, which has more of these uh, video tutorials and also a lot of instructional uh, articles and, and such. So I'll see you in the next video.